Sunday evening marked the beginning of the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah, but Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu didn't seem to be in a celebrating mood. At a Likud party celebration, he spent the bulk of his speech on the attack against the latest police allegations of corruption against him. And as I-24 News diplomatic correspondent Mike Wagenheim reports, Netanyahu thinks the case against him is so flimsy, he'll hardly need a miracle to get by. Look close. This is Israel's prime minister and attorney general. One man's future is in the hands of the other, and the arrangement doesn't favor the premier. On Sunday, Israeli police issued another recommendation to indict Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. This time, it's in case 4000, the so-called Bezik affair. It alleges that while doubling as communications minister, Netanyahu helped the head of the Bezik telecommunications company gain favorable regulation in exchange for good press coverage of Netanyahu on the Bezik-owned Walla News website and that Netanyahu did it despite the opposite guidance from career officials at the ministry. Netanyahu says it's all a setup. Hanukkah is indeed a celebration of miracles. But I have to ask you, how do they know to time these delusional recommendations against my wife Sarah and myself exactly on the very last day of the chief of the police? What can I tell you? A true Hanukkah miracle. Netanyahu and his wife Sarah are accused of becoming directly involved in content and hiring appointments at Walla by contacting Bezik owner Shaul Elevich and his wife. And this is the third corruption case for which police have recommended that Benjamin Netanyahu be indicted. But those recommendations, as Netanyahu is eager to point out, carry no legal weight. Israel is a country of laws, and in a country of laws, police recommendations have no legal hold. Instead, all the files will be forwarded to Attorney General Avichai Mandelblit. He's expected, though not guaranteed, to make a decision in the first quarter of 2019. And that means the Prime Minister has a decision to make. Call early elections now and regain a popular mandate before Mandelblit's decision. Or wait it out and hope Mandelblit folds. Or that the public believes a Prime Minister under indictment more than the police, he says, have conspired against him. Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News. With me in studio now to break down the story, our diplomatic correspondent Eli Hochenberg and Haaretz journalist Allison kaplan Selmer. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Um, Eli, let's begin with you. Uh, obviously yesterday uh, Netanyahu said the allegations uh, carry no legal weight, the police recommendations that is, carry no legal weight, and as strange as that sounds, he is right. Yes. It's absolutely right, because at the end of the day, the one who has a final say on whether to indeed pursue an indictment or not is the Attorney General. And now that police concluded all three investigations, cases 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, it is up to the Attorney General to review uh, the materials, the evidence that was uh, uh, that were collected by uh, police and decide whether it's sufficient enough to uh, submit uh, an indictment uh, or not in this process. Don't be too surprised, will take a long while uh, as well. But at the same time, Netanyahu, not for the first time, is uh, somewhat trying to undermine the credibility of police, of the investigation, cl uh, claiming it is politically motivated. And this morning, the attorney general, again, the one who will eventually decide yes or no to an indictment, uh, def uh, defended the police or its uh, credibility and did, however, mention that it's not the final bottom line yet. Let's take a quick listen to what he said at the Parliament Committee earlier in the day. All the enforcement authorities are working together and they should be given protection. The police, the Attorney General's office, the legal advisor. The connection is very important. As far as I am concerned, the police recommendations, an attorney oversaw the process, but it's important to underline these are police recommendations, not the position of the state's prosecutor nor the attorney general. I give all the backing, personally and as an institution, to the Israeli police. Back to our studio discussion now. And Alison, what do you make of this uh, statement from the attorney general? It seems like a mixed bag, as Ali was mentioning, uh, defending the police on one hand and on the other hand reiterating almost what the prime minister said, not to worry too much. Well, just to remind you, Ali, in his exact 
back towards um, Netanyahu called what was happening a witch hunt, where we yeah. heard those uh, those words before. But listen, on one hand, yes, it doesn't hold legal weight, and Mandelblit is pointing out that until the prosecutor decides to prosecute, that uh, there's no official case against the prime minister. On the other hand, presumably the police have uh, interrogated all of the people in the case, have read all of the documents, so their recommendations should be seen by the public as carrying some sort of weight or authority. You know, if the people respect the police, they should respect their opinion and recommending that uh, that uh, indictments be handed down on the basis of this material. Some Likud members, uh, Allison, have said in the past that even if the prime minister is indicted, he can still continue serving as a prime minister. That's a notion that's disturbing for many Israelis. Yeah, it's a, it's a disturbing notion. It's technically um, a possible, though it's going to be very difficult uh, to see. In his ideal world, I think that uh, Netanyahu would like to see if these indictments were handed down, that the that a campaign then um, uh, end in his election, even with these charges hanging over his head, and then he would have sort of an ringing endorsement by the public that despite these allegations that he's still the person that they want to see as prime minister. And in fact, it, it doesn't seem like an ideal world for uh, the prime minister, not at the moment. And there are already elite politicians that are trying to seize the opportunity. Yes, politicians from the opposition, and this is very important to stress because mm -hmm. until this point in time, uh, uh, Moshe Kahlon, finance minister, perhaps was the only one implying that the prime minister will not be able to continue uh, uh, being prime minister if an indictment will be submitted. Um, all the rest of his coalition partners slash, uh, uh, you know, enemies, it's a political game after all, have not said clearly that an indictment will necessarily mean no more, uh, uh, no more reign for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The oppos opposition, however, uh, thinks quite uh, differently. Let's take a quick listen to what Yair Lapid of the centrist Yeshatid party said in the aftermath of uh, this Netanyahu speech. If anyone needed further proof that he cannot continue to serve as Prime Minister, they should listen to that speech. It proved that in the battle between Netanyahu and the suspect, and Netanyahu the prime minister, the suspect won. What he did yesterday was to try and undermine the rule of law in Israel, to make the public lose faith in the law. That's what happens to someone who is in power for too long and loses their sense of judgment. That's the corruption that happens over time. Yeah, so similar message from uh, opposition leader Tsipi Livni and a fierce reaction from uh, the ruling Likud party, again, unsurprisingly, uh, putting the blame on Lapid and Livni for their uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, not illegal but uh, not uh, so uh, moral encounters uh, with another big uh, um, uh, news uh, outlet uh, owner, uh, Noni Moses, who is at the center of another corruption case against Netanyahu, case 2000. So again, putting the blame on them or pointing fingers at them instead of addressing the claims. Alison, we have less than one minute for me to ask you a very important question. Okay. Do you think the prime minister will be held accountable? Um, well, it depends. Do I think that indictments will be handed out against him? Is, since we've got three cases out there, I'm pretty sure, you know, odds are one out of three is going to uh, be handed out in indictments. Can he stick it out politically right now with no clear leadership alternative on the horizon, either in the coalition or on the opposition? If I were a betting person, I would put my money on Netanyahu uh, sticking this one out. Me too.